exposure comes, you know, and what's happened is light has shined and exposure has happened. And we're, we're here right now, you know, we're here right now. This is where we are in the body of Christ. But I'll tell you this too. We need to stop. Oh, this is what I did want to say. Listen, you guys better be very careful. Now mark my words as a man of God. Be very careful calling people witches, warlocks, false prophets, and saying what they do is witchcraft. That is bold, and you better know 100% what you're saying is accurate. If not, it's not the man or woman that you are in trouble with. It's not the man and woman that you are in trouble with. You are in trouble with God. You're in trouble with God. And I've seen some people be very brave, very brave, saying that the things people are doing are witchcraft. When I personally know it's not witchcraft, and I get accused of defending witchcraft, which is crazy, I know it. When you call a man or woman of God a witch or warlock, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you, if you're watching this, and you have called a man or woman of God a witch or warlock, right now is your time to repent. You need to repent. Without the proper 100%, you know they're doing spells, they went and got a warlock anointing and all this. Listen, if you don't know any of that, you better repent. It ain't man that you're fighting anymore. It's God. And if something, let me tell you something, if something looks strange, it's better to say that's strange instead of saying that's witchcraft because it's hard to take the other one back because now you're calling a work from God. Uh, you're calling a work from God, a work from the Holy Spirit of the devil. Mm. Crazy. A lot of people are dropping these witch, warlock, witchcraft words. And it, it, this is biblical. This isn't me. This isn't me. Watch. Either one or two things happen, and this is biblical. Either everything they have is going to go crazy because they put their mouth on God. Or they'll completely repent and get a shot. But... I'm telling you, I don't care how big the minister is. I, I, this goes for me as much as anybody else. This goes for me as much as anybody else, guys. You understand? This goes for me as much as anybody else. Be careful. And people think when I say the word be careful that I'm threatening somebody. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm being serious. Be wary. Be careful. The Bible even tells us to be wary of certain things. Be careful putting things out there. And saying something is not of God when it actually 100% can could 100% could be. Let's <clears throat> let's bring the Bible into this really quick, okay? Watch this. Moses had a stick, threw it on the ground, it turned into a snake. Moses put his hand in his cloak, took it out. His hand was withered. It was leprous. Uh, what else? Uh, El Elisha, I think, or Elijah. I can't remember exactly which one. Threw an axe head, threw a stick in, and the axe head floated. Ezekiel cooked something, was cooking food over cow poop. Like, what would these people? Elijah threw it, hit his cloak on the water, and the water split. What would these people? What would these people say if these people were alive today? What would these people say if these people were alive today? They would call them the exact same thing they're calling many of these people today. They would call them witches and warlocks and say they're doing witchcraft. That's what they would say. 100%. 100%. You know, I get, I get picked on by certain people because of the way I do ministry. Because of the way I minister, I get picked on. But the results don't lie. 
Fruit don't lie. Fruit is fruit is fruit. Uh, let's say this. What if somebody said, I saw an angel that had eyes all over their body? Huh. What if John on the island of Patmos, yeah, Moses lifted up a snake. That's true. And people were healed. What if you heard somebody lifted up a snake? <clears throat> what if John was on the island of Patmos and had a vision, the revelation of the dead, martyred saints? You would say that that's necromancy or something like that. Ah, do you see? But anyway, that's what people would say today because they have too much intellect, too much pride and self-righteousness. That's what they have. So, see, you're not going to see unusual things. You're not going to see supernatural things unless you're willing to go against the norm and be called of the kingdom of Beelzebub, just like Jesus would, was. Uh, the king of the devil, the kingdom of Satan. Unless you're, the, unless you're willing for that to be saying to you, said to you, you got two choices in this walk. You have two choices. You can play it safe and do the things that make everything okay, make make you make it safe for you, or you can be that person who takes risks and walks in supernatural faith and causes amazing things to happen. But that's gonna call. That's gonna come with a price. That's going to that's gonna come with a cost that many people are not willing to bear. If you want to see crazy supernatural things, you're going to have to be willing to be persecuted and lose friendships, lose family. You're going to have to be willing to do all of this stuff. You will. You will. So, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just funny. It's funny that I see... Everybody deleting their stuff now. It's funny that I see people backtracking now. I was so, they were so attacking me for everything. You know, secretly, a lot of, a lot of backbiting gossip, things behind the scenes, people with strong opinions one way and saying Daniel's, a lot of people really have said Daniel's deceived, Daniel's under a strong delusion, Daniel's seduced. I mean, guys, you would be so surprised at what people have said. People with platforms, people that are that are that this should that should know better and have discernment. Daniel Adams is not seduced. Daniel Adams is not idolat idolizing any anybody. Daniel Adams is following the Holy Spirit and going in the direction God has told called me to go, and it is ruffling feathers because people can't control me. People can't stop me. So I'm going to continue to move forward. I will preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I will preach. I will preach the message of Jesus. I will tell people to repent, turn from sin. Come into that goodness of God. I walk that holy, pure, and righteous lifestyle. Choose him and, and watch and just be filled with the Holy Spirit and walk this thing out and watch him use you in an amazing, amazing way. In an amazing, amazing way. How much more plain can it get? A seduced man would not be able to say something like that. I wouldn't be able to sit here and, 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 and talk uh, uh, about something like this, you know? So I'm, I'm concerned with a few things. I'm concerned with Jesus Christ. I'm concerned with my family. I'm concerned with the ministry. Everything else is just whatever. As long, as long as, you know, 